Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm joined again by my beautiful wife, Brenna. Brenna, what do we have today? Well today we are talking about these super spectacular white Larry Mayhem boots. And they are beautiful, so yeah. let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. You're on a roll with these Larry Mahan finds. I am, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell me the story about this one? Riding high off the purchase of my last pair of Larry Mahan boots, I just kind of kept going. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, in the same kind of search results on Poshmark, you know, I had just typed in Larry Mahan, wanted to see what else was out there, you know, as you do. And these came up. And I think they were listed at $40. And what drew me to these was that A, they were white, B, they were tall, and C, from the photos, it looked like this scallop was gonna be wide enough to fit my calf into. Mm -hmm. And nothing gets me more excited than the possibility of actually fitting into a gosh darn pair of boots. They didn't end up fitting your calves though, unfortunately. No. So we had to take them to a cobbler and get them stretched. And we're working on that video right now, but we wanted to show you the quick impression first. And that comes with a rundown. A rundown. Let's talk about these boots a little bit. So these are white, as you can tell, they are full grain leather, and then you've got the beautiful medium round toe. And then all the way up, these are 15 inches tall, which is a pretty tall boot. For a women's boot, they definitely do get that tall, but even for that, that's pretty dang tall. And then you do have this beautiful double scallop at the top, which kind of sits just uh, right above the what are we calling this? The overlay crown. Yep. Which is just right here. Beautiful. I really love this kind of detailing that they've got in here. It really adds a little bit of a special something. For you know? real. A boot like this deserves a crown. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I deserve a crown. <laughs> And then all the way down here, you do have a two inch stacked leather heel, um, which is actually in pretty good shape, mm -hmm. and a leather outsole. Inside, you've got leather lining, um, hard leather insole. It's, you know, a well made boot, and uh, we're saying this was made in the United States. They're not making boots anymore, but when they did, they were badass. Oh, yeah, it does say here made in Texas. There you go. Are you ready to try these boots on and show everybody what they look like and tell us how they feel? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so these are the white Larry Mayhem boots. As you can see, they are way too small for my calf, even after being stretched. Um, so it's a little uncomfortable to wear them, actually. Um, I can feel the blood in my legs kind of pooling. Not a super comfortable feeling, um, but that's my fault for putting them on. <laughs> In terms of the way that they fit, they do fit true to size though. I would say they are six and a half. They fit like a six and a half on the feet. I like the way that they fit. You can tell that they've been lightly broken in um, by someone else's foot, but really with a little bit of time, I think that my foot could just take over. Uh, I really think that the heel is nice. I think it's not too tall. I would really love to wear this with like a cute spring dress. I think that would be super fun. Um, maybe something cottony, kind of boho, you know, go for the whole little prairie kind of vibe that's very in right now. I think that would be really adorable. Can't be too mad about the price that I paid for these. I think I paid 40 bucks overall, which for a pair of pretty much brand new cowboy boots is really not that bad. Um, in the description, the measurements for the calf were, I think, listed wrong and that's why they didn't work out, but that's not really that big of a deal because I think they're still a beautiful boot and I appreciate them. I don't know if whoever's closet they were sitting in appreciated them, but I appreciate them. I do think that they're a work of art, so I'm, I'm not mad that they don't fit. I'm just disappointed. All right, Brenna, these looked great, but they are really tight on your calves, They huh? are really tight, yeah. Unfortunately, um, that happens. With me, it happens a lot, but it doesn't happen with everyone. Mm -hmm. it's just, that's just the way that it is, especially when it's a really, really good deal. How mad can you be? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not ideal and it's not fun and it doesn't make me feel great, but I did get the chance to hold and look at and cherish these beautifully made boots. I mean, that's, that's still a cool experience, even if they don't fit perfectly. As with the 
Black Larry Mayhans that we did previously. If you haven't seen that, you can check that video out above. We did get these shafts stretched ahead of time and the cobbler took them as far as they would go. When I was there, he put the, uh, the stretcher in here and you could actually hear the leather creaking and that was part of how he determined what the leather could actually take because you hear it stretching before it actually rips. So him being a professional, he could hear that and knew when to stop. So this got like maybe a quarter inch more, but it still wasn't enough for, for you, Brenna. And I hope maybe there's something else that we could do in the future, but if not, what do you think you'll do with these? Sell them, give them away? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't think anyone that I know has any smaller of a cabs with the same size foot as me. Um, maybe sell them, but I don't know what the market is for boots like this. I think what I would love to do is condition them up and just see how it goes. Mm -hmm. You know, they need some love. They definitely probably creaked because A, they're an older boot. Mm -hmm. They haven't been conditioned. No. Um, you can see the wrinkles, you can hear them you can hear the subtle kind of uh, creaking of the outer layers of leather when you do that. So these haven't been loved in a really long time. So I would love to condition them in, get some moisture on this leather and, and see what happens. See what happens after that. Yep, I think that's a good idea too. And I support that decision. We'll condition them up and maybe in the future they will stretch some more. Oh yeah, when I say At condition, I, I mean you. Not fingers crossed. Me. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down, especially if it leads to more videos. <laughs> Speaking of more videos, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're doing videos like this all of the time. So hit that subscribe button while you're here. Thank you so much for watching today. Thanks to my beautiful wife, Brenna, for joining me on this video. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Have a good one. Fingers crossed that these boots so tall will fit Brenna when they break in. All white and the price was right to make it a chance worth taking. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about another pair of Larry Mayhans that we looked at recently. Or I got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.